Recent incidents involving interaction with the Cobb County Police Department and high-profile incidents nationally have resulted in departments across the country taking a hard look at policies and practices to ensure that similar innocence incidents do not happen in their community. The Cobb County Police Department is a nationally accredited, deeply respected department and is always seeking out and implementing best policing practices. I want to clarify that this next agenda item is not requesting an internal review. It is directing the public safety direct leadership to inventory existing policies, practices, and procedures, and to recommend to the board what should, if anything, be subject to a review and whom externally should conduct such a review. I want to put on record that this agenda item is not a reflection of my lack of confidence in our police department. In fact, it is a complete exact opposite. I have never wavered in my confidence in our public safety team and have very, very strong confidence in Sam, Director Sam Heaton's leadership. To the contrary, I am tired of the public accusations and assertions about our police department. I am disappointed that the chief pre perpetrator of these accusations is a commissioner who is not being constructive about seeking legitimate solutions to what she asserts is wrong. In August, I encourage Commissioner Cupid to lead this effort with a memo outlining the constructive steps necessary to make it happen. Unfortunately, she has even gone so far as to set up a grievance committee that has no binding authority whatsoever and is an independent of any legitimate process. The only conclusion I can draw from this is that she is seeking to create a media spectacle rather than seeking constructive solutions to the problems she alleges. Commissioner Cupid has repeatedly demanded a response from this board. This is a response. This is leadership. This is doing the right thing by Cobb County and the men and women who risk their lives to protect and serve us every single day. The goal of this agenda item is that public safety professionals take a look at what exists and what may or may not be appropriate areas for external review. Simply put, the findings of this evaluation will prescribe the best path forward for proceeding with a review and a recommendation, external entities best suited to conduct this review. Commissioner Weatherford, as a police and public safety liaison, has been working closely with me to establish this process and to seek constructive solution, solutions, and I look forward to leading this initiative with him. With that, I bring forward the agenda item and request the Board of Commissioners direct the public safety director in consultation with the county manager to inventory and evaluate policing policies, practices, and ongoing activities and use these findings to present a recommendation about how to move forward with a thorough review of existing policies and practices related to the recruitment, diversity training, community engagement, the citizen complaint process, and other areas that may be identified by the public safety director as set out in the background of this agenda item. Is there a second? Second. Are there comments? Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, 